Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics video on the unit circle. Today we're just going to be covering radians, which is the most basic part of learning about the unit circle. If you're interested in learning about coordinates, please watch our trigonometry video on the unit circle instead, or our quick memorizing the coordinates video. So today we're just going to be covering radians, so let's start with what I have behind me. I've got a circle on a Cartesian coordinate grid, which means that we have our x-axis intersecting with our y-axis, and our circle is centered at point zero, zero. Our circle has a unit length of radius one. The radius is one unit long, which means that this is a unit circle. And so to explain the unit circle, let's work with this circle first. We all know that a circle is made out of 360 degrees, and so it's really easy to split it up. If we start with zero degrees here, on the right-hand side where the circle crosses the x-axis, 180 degrees, or half the circle is going to be on the other side. We'll also easily split it up into, into fourths, to four quadrants. And on our unit circle, we also split it into eighths and twelfths. Now, these are all really important measurements for the unit circle, and you'll be memorizing these and the coordinates as you move through pre-calculus and trigonometry. And so, on our coordinate plane here, we have our radius of 1. But what happens if we want to measure a radian instead of a degree measurement? So, what we'll do to visualize this, we'll take our radius, this is about the same length as our radius 1 here, and we'll lay our radius down on the outside of our circle. So this is one radian of length along our circle. And if we multiplied that by 2, we'd get to about here. And if we multiplied that by 3, we'd get to about here. Well, that's kind of useful. 3 times a radian equals almost half of a circle. But it turns out that if you multiply one radian by pi, so one radian times pi, you'll get approximately 3.14 radians. So we have pi radians over here, which is equal to exactly half of our circle, uh, half of our circle's arc length. And if you multiply that by 2, you'd have 2 pi, which is equal to exactly the circumference of our circle. Now at this point, a formula should be jumping out to you. The formula for the circumference of a circle is 2 times pi times the radius of our circle, which is basically what we've done here. And so, let's define a radian. A radian is a measurement of an angle, just like degrees are. Um, when you take a radian, you are measuring the angle on a circle where the arc is the length of the radius. So here, at approximately one radian of length, we have an angle which is equal to the radius. So, now let's figure out why the degrees relate to radians. On our circle here, we have 0 radians, pi radians, and 2 pi radians mapped out already. And so it's pretty easy to see where half of a radian would be. So that'll be right at the top. So pi over 2 radians, and this will be three halves of a radian, so three pi over two. Now, if we want to convert between degrees and radians, we simply take a degree, let's take 30 degrees here, and let's find the radian value. So let's find what our radian value of 30 degrees is. So what we'll do is take 30 degrees and multiply it by pi over 180, and this will equal 30 pi over 180, which equals pi over 6. So we know that when, our, when we're looking at 30 degrees on our circle, we're also looking at an angle of pi over 6 radians. We can do the same thing for 45 degrees. 
So we'll take 45 degrees and multiply it by pi over 180. And we'll get 45 pi over 180, which is equal to pi over 4. And so we know that at 45 degrees, we're looking at pi over 4 radians. And you can use this technique to fill in the rest of your unit circle with radians. And that's basically your introduction to radians and how to use them. So thank you for watching, and be sure to watch the other two videos on the unit circle. And be sure to visit our website, centerofmath.org, for pre-cal textbooks, uh, as well as other math resources.